The Great Pyrenees, also known as Pyrenean Mountain Dog or Patu, is a strong and alert herding dog. History and Origin of the Great Pyrenees Bronze Age dog bones show that the ancestors of today's Pyrenean Mountain Dogs must have existed in Europe between 1800 and 1000 BC. It is assumed that these ancestors came from Siberia or Central Asia. In the Middle Ages, the dogs protected herds of cattle from bears and wolves. To help the dogs survive fights with such animals, shepherds would put spiked collars on them. At the beginning of the 15th century, they were used as guards at the castles of the Pyrenees. The dogs were also present at the court of Louis XV. In 1931, Owner Mary Crane started to breed Great Pyrenees in the USA. Over the course of 50 years, she imported almost 60 of the dogs from France to Massachusetts and established a diverse gene pool for healthy breeding in the USA. Appearance of the Great Pyrenees According to the breed standard, males should reach a height at the withers of 70 to 80 centimeters while females should be slightly smaller at 65 to 75 centimeters. The unspecified weight is between 40 to 60 kilos depending on the sex. Their life expectancy is around 10 to 12 years. Great Pyrenees have a long, full, rough and weatherproof coat, which can be either straight or wavy. The undercoat is made up of fine, luxuriant hair. Around the neck, the fur thickens to a kind of mane which makes the dog look even more imposing. The coat colors vary from pure white to light yellow, with bright yellow, tan, wolf gray, light gray or orange markings on the head, ears or tail. The dog has a broad and deep chest and a large, broad, V-shaped head with small triangular and flat-lying floppy ears. The dog's eyes are always dark brown and almond-shaped. Its bushy tail is pendulous, but when tired, it will carry it bent over its back. There are also double dew claws on the dog's hind legs. Temperament and training of the Great Pyrenees The big dogs are usually good-natured and faithful. They build up a firm bond with their family and get on well with children and other pets. At the same time, they have a high stimulus threshold. The intelligent Great Pyrenees always want to protect their pack. They are suspicious of strangers and can be quite intimidating due to their imposing size and deep bark, which makes them very good herding dogs and guard dogs. They can also be trained as tracking and rescue dogs. Since they are very independent, owners should not expect unconditional obedience from them. Exercise and care of the Great Pyrenees the dogs always need mental challenges and have a high urge to move. Ideally, they should have a large area to roam around and guard, such as a house with a large garden or a farm in the countryside. When out walking, owners should take care that young Great Pyrenees do not overload their joints. Due to the high weight of the dog, hip or elbow dysplasia can occur more often in this otherwise very healthy breed. The dense coat requires frequent brushing so that it does not become matted and retains its shine. Eyes and ears should be cleaned regularly. The dew claws on the hind legs should also be trimmed often. Don't forget, owning a Great Pyrenees can be quite expensive because of the huge amount of food they require. <laughs>